having to stay and pray for the next 20, 30, 40 days. You see, he may even throw up some blockages just to delay it. Because for some of us, all it takes is a little delay. He doesn't have to come against some of us. He just needs to delay it. And because of our impatience, we stop praying. Remember Daniel's prayer on Sunday? How many days? Does anybody remember how many days it was hindered? 21. 21. Did you see that over there? 21. Three weeks. It was hindered three weeks. And the Bible says that God heard him on what day? Day one. The first day, on day one, he heard Daniel when he began to pray. But let me show you something. Daniel did the only thing he knew to do. He continued praying until the answer came. Let me ask somebody this question. Do you ever wonder why your prayer remains unanswered? You ever thought about that? Why is my prayer always remained unanswered? Do you ever thought that maybe it's suspended in space right now? Still within the 21 days. But oh, I forgot. You stopped on day 3. No, for some of you it was on day 7. And for a few of us, we go to day 14. And it still had not had. You see, the answer from the throne may have already been given. Yet, as the Lord said, the prince of Persia encountered me. I encountered this prince and I was suspended. Sometimes our prayer or answers to our prayers have already been given and they meet resistance and consequently it hangs in the balance awaiting more prayer, more supplication from people who will humble themselves and continue to seek God's face knowing that He's going to send forth the answers. But we won't quit us, us, uh, continue praying because we feel like God hasn't heard, but yet He's already given and sent forth the answer. But it's met great opposition. And hear me, church, the greater the thing in your life that God wants to do, the greater the opposition that the devil is going to do to thwart that from coming into your life. And so that is why we must learn to pray. That is why we must get on our face before God and say, God, if there's one thing that I need to learn to do, it's to pray. Amen. Nothing of the will of God is ever released without passing through the hands of man. And nothing of whatever will of God released through man is ever free from the encounter of the power of Satan. Let me say that again. Nothing in God's will is ever released without passing through our hands. Somebody say my hands. My hands. Through our is ever released without passing through our hands because of the principle that God is going to work together with us. So He's not going to just throw it out there. He's going to pass it through our hands. But watch this. Nothing of God's will released through us will ever be free from Satan's attacks. So whatever comes through you and I, know this, that if it's of God, Satan is inquiring to know. He wants to see how big it is. And he wants to see how powerful it is. He wants to see just what it can do. And, and that's why God is so in, uh, enthralled with you and I. Because he said, don't get glory from this. Just let me get glory. Because if you start taking the glory, I can't work through you. 
The word in Ezekiel is quite surprising. The Lord says, I have a purpose. I will increase the house of Israel with men like a flock. And hear me, what God ordains, He can perform. What God ordains, He can perform. Right. Nevertheless, He will not accomplish instantly, but instead, wait a while to perform it. Anybody know the reason for His waiting? Help me. Anybody know the reason why God is waiting? He's waiting for prayers. We have a principle here. He's not going to work alone. Right? That's what we're saying. He's not going to work alone. So he's waiting. Let's see. The Lord said it this way. For this, moreover, will I be inquired, prayer, by the house of Israel to do it for them. God decided to increase the house of Israel with men, which we would call revival, but must wait until the children of Israel, which is us, inquire of Him, which is prayer, about the matter. So revival is encompassed by our prayer. I've said this to us, church, if we're going to see revival, it's going to come because of prayer. Prayer is going to bring revival. I'll prove it here in this series. You'll see how this goes. And just watch the services in the next six, six, eight weeks. Watch this. Even if God Himself is resolved to perform certain things, He must wait until men show agreement before He proceeds. That agreement is our prayer. Even though God has resolved... To send forth revival. God is waiting for a church to come into agreement with His will through prayer. That yes God, we are ready to receive what you have already for ordained for us. Every time He works, He doesn't go forth simply because He has a will to do so. No, He waits. For his people to express their agreement with him in prayer before he ever acts. Let's consider this great phenomenon for a second. And be mindful of this truth. Listen to this. All spiritual works are decided by God and desired by his children. They are initiated by God and approved by His children. Hear me when I say that. All works, spiritual works, are decided by God and desired of us. They are initiated by God and approved by you and I. Man, it's powerful. Can you imagine God going to the drafting board, putting a draft together, and saying, Brother, you all to be approved? And you say, well, yeah, that's awesome. Why? I don't need to change what God's going to draft up because we already know He's perfect. He has a perfect will. And so when I look at that drawing, I think, oh my goodness, Lord, I would have never dreamt it like that. I would have probably left that out and left that out. But man, I approve of that. And if you would ever get into the will of God and let God show you the plan that He has for your life, maybe, just maybe, in a chamber of prayer, you will start to get revelation as to how wonderful and mighty your God is, and then maybe you will start to fall in love with this God of creation, and you will say, God, I want to see more. I want to walk into the blueprint room every day that I might see my life. Amen. 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 See, God reinforces this principle that we've been studying that He will not work 